Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Punkard. I got another video. I've been really busy. I've been wanting to put a new video up for a while, but like I've said in previous posts, school has kicked my ass. Oh my god, it's been a pain in the ass. But I'm getting there. But this is not about school and how much school is kicking me in the ass, but stay in school. Anyway, now that we've gotten that over with, I recently went to my buddy's place, Gamer Anonymous, down in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I asked him if there's any way I can shoot a video. He didn't have a problem with it. Um, he said, sure, come on in, we'll, you know, shoot it, and like, you know, I did. It was really nice. Um, the employees are really, really helpful. Um, the store is just great. For those of you that do not know what Gamer, Gamers Anonymous is, that is a um, retailer that has an arcade, has retro, classic, next gen, memorabilia, uh, competitions, all of it is just there in that one store. Now there are two locations. I do not know um, the other location that well. I've never been there, but I'm pretty sure it's run the same and still has a great bunch of people. But this is going to be the people down on Corrales. So anyway, uh, let's just get to the video. here it is we're inside the shop I wanted to get a outside shot but um, it was late at night and really couldn't see much so I figured we'd go back in here this is what I like to call the um, the stack of doom it shows everything for the Genesis and um, how the peripherals for a GameCube like how it kind of just blew up all over the place it's just you know, way too much. There's the uh, pea green uh, Game Boy, little Donkey Kong, and some uh, some flags. Some uh, I don't know if they're gaming or anime flags. I didn't pull any. This is a actual uh, competition uh, Street Fighter, a uh, little uh, Nintendo repair placard. Uh, you know, um, really nice. Some more Sonic stuffed plushes. A uh, couple posters, a couple boards. Here they have some real kind of uh, hidden games. You kind of have to look through them. There is Bingo, that's a good one. Power Stone 2 for the Dreamcast. Ah, oh. Shogodin, Tomb Raider. Uh, yes. Oh my God, Final Fantasy 7. God, I remember that game. Awesome game. So much hype behind it. And uh, get down to some PlayStation 2 games. A little bit of a um. Uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, some GameCube games, there's some Pokemon, Pikmin 2, some Wii games, Samurai Spirits, that's for the Neo Geo, that's the big cartridge, uh, I only have the Neo Geo CD, so otherwise I would have already picked that up. Um, definitely some collectibles in there, and uh, there's some actual like retro consoles, you got a uh, Game Gear, a FAT, there's the uh, DVD drive for an Xbox 360, I picked up that Jaguar if you saw over there, there's an Xbox Slim, a couple of nice Game Cubes, um, there's the N64, the PS1, oh I love the PS1, portable with that screen, Xbox and the PlayStation 1, we're gonna walk her over here and they also uh, do some computer repairs. I'm not going to look at that too much. World of Nintendo. Now most of their games are just on this board um, encased in like a little plastic bag and you have to have them cut down but it's really nice. You can see they got a lot on the shelves. Oh, uh, There's the advanced stick. Oh, I remember so many games with the advanced stick. Um, just going to look through some of these games. This is their screen for uh, competitions it looks like they uh, basically are running I think that was a uh, pod racer and you get to run right the fastest time and whoever wins wins now here is a ton of NES games I mean just you would have to sit there for like 20 30 minutes trying to go through all of them uh, there's some Nintendo 64 games oh Goldeneye wow 
so many times when like the club we always used to call it the club house uh shadows of the empire i love that game oh my goodness nostalgia nostalgia oh god anyway yeah just game galore uh another one that is f0 and somebody biffed it for the nes um actually that was a super nes excuse me there here's the uh genesis games lots of genesis games out of the box there's some 32x and some master system games and there's the kind of the sports arama i mean just the kind of two buck chuck sports games that just are like kinda all over the place and then here we go to the cream there is the Sega CD the Sega Saturn in boxed and you know it's really hard to find these games without them um, being cracked or not in the box to find them in their box is just great and you can see that they have a large selection there's a 32x and then the master system and then we have the actual uh, Genesis games inbox. Oh, I love inbox. Here we go with the Nintendo 64 games inbox. Um, there was a rod up there inbox for the Nintendo 64. Quake! God, so many hours lost on the PC playing that game for Quake. And then they finally ported it to the Nintendo 64. And uh, what was that? That was. Uh, uh, Oh my goodness. Anyways, there is a lot of Final Fantasy here. Chrono Cross by uh, Square. Oh, I love that game. The time travel in there, the switching back and forth. Really, really um, cutting edge for its time. Set the bar for a lot of the RPGs. Now these are all PS1 and then we get down here. My One of my favorite consoles is the um, Dreamcast and oh! Fantasy Star Online. I really have a good story about how my brother racked up a $300 phone bill because he had he didn't know how to set up his um his uh, uh Dreamcast to dial locally and uh, some shirts, some Sonic shirts. Uh, I was thinking about picking a couple of those up and um, you know second party and first party OEM uh, controllers and peripherals. Some of them are even in the box so. I mean, really nice, and of course they're all working, and um, I picked up a couple here. Let's see. And I think that's a 8-pit digital from a Final Fantasy character. I want to say Behitmoth, but I don't think, if I'm saying that right, but I don't think that's, that's right. They'll probably correct me on this. And here we're getting into a little bit newer generation. There's the uh, PlayStation 2, God of War have that one that's a nice one Max Payne gun um, you know guitar heroes let's see oh Grandia 2 oh loves me some Grandia 2 that is a great game <sighs> what I really like is it's just like everything is so nicely put away this is their Xbox collection really nice here some good games um, House of the Dead Half-Life Demon not uh, Demon Stone Anyway, but um, yeah, I mean, really organized and the prices are really good. I mean, and um, you know, alphabetical, I mean, that's one, I hate going into these shops and you like literally have to spend like half an hour just trying to find the A's and the A's are like not even in, they're like, you know, um, who knows. Here's the, getting into the newer generation, there's Wii games. Um, now lately I've been playing more Wii games. I've found some really obscure um, collectible Wii games and I've been playing a lot more of those. Here's um, the 360, I think the Darkness and Dead Space, Gears of War, oh, oh my goodness, Enchanted Arms, oh my goodness, such a nice collection for their 360s. Metro, oh, if you haven't played Metro, I seriously suggest you try it. It's based off of um, a good set of, um, I believe they're Russian novels. I can't remember the author's name, so we're going to drop down into the uh, PlayStation 3s. And as you can see, their collections, you know, it's a retro store, so they have a little bit more towards the retro, you know. But um, still, uh, 
And I believe uh, this is their Japanese PS2s, I believe. Yeah, and Japanese uh, Dreamcast games. You know, if you get yourself a Game Shark, um, you can definitely uh, play these games, and you can still order them. Shimon Yu! Oh my god! Give me the third one! Please! Stop teasing me! Eh, oh well. I mean, we can always dream. I mean, it's supposed to be a trilogy. Uh, what was that? 13? That's a good one, too. Uh, get up into a little bit more of the peripherals. Here's their handhold, ha excuse me, handhelds, DS, uh, Vita, um, PSP, all of those good ones. Um, adapters, power adapters, some loose games. Um, really nice. And here we're getting old school. We're going Activision way back in the Atari days. Oh my goodness. The color of doom, man, and in television, God, and television was like really like one of the uh, beginning um, game systems out there. I mean, them and the, uh, the early Ataris, and um, here's uh, some of their uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy games, um, all real nice, good prices on them. Of course, I don't have a Game Boy or a Game Boy Advanced, um, or a Game Gear, I, I'm really picky about my uh, handhelds. There has to be a big nostalgic factor. Duke Nukem, there's Mario Golf. I heard that uh, Mario Golf was a good game, but uh, never really had a chance to play it. Uh, some sort of Nintendo game cabinet. Um, don't know too much about that one. If it was just playing uh, NES games or Super NES games, it looks like just NES games. And here are manuals, loose manuals. You can just go up, get the manual um, for your NES or Super NES game. And uh, here's some uh, more uh, peripherals in the back, some controllers, battery packs still in the box. Um, lots to choose from. And here are the, uh, I can't remember if they're called Radon or Retron. Basically, they play like uh, NES, Super NES, um, Nintendo 64, all in one console, and there's some um, more peripherals controllers for them. Um, now we're going to jump into the uh, arcade. We're going to take one more kind of sweep, so you, you know, after looking at all those awesome games, you can lay back on the couch and get a re some rest. And um, So here's a, uh, looks like a demo box for a uh, GameCube and a... P green Nintendo Game Boy uh, dis st store display. Uh, God, I remember just seeing nothing but seas of greens after playing that. And, uh, here's a uh, Capcom arcade box. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's um, Marvel vs. Capcom. I never got too much into these. I hear that there's a really good Marvel vs. Capcom in the Dreamcast, but I haven't played it um, at all. And here is a uh, Super uh, Street Fighter, oh no no that's the Third Strike, sorry about that. And here is the Super Street Fighter Turbo. And uh, the amount of times I had to go to the laundromat to get quarters to play this sucker, Jesus Christ man. My world. Uh, anyways, um, here's another gaming box and uh, we're kind of coming to the end here. Um, you know, here is a... Uh, Neo Geo Samurai Showdown. I didn't play this too much until it came out in the console versions, but you know, hey. Well, thank you everybody for joining me on that one. It was really fun visiting my friends down at Gamers Anonymous. It was uh, good times down there for sure, but um, uh, hopefully I'll have another video up for you soon, and I will catch you guys later.